If I'm being completely honest, I didn't feel like this video was going to happen. I had a ton of GoPro footage, but no story, no supporting shots, no real way of shaping this all together. That being said, the writing was amazing, so I thought I'd share the footage even if the story was lacking. A couple of weeks ago, we went back up to Marquette, Michigan. Last time, we only rode the North Trail system, so this time, we hit up the South Trails. We managed to rent Jordan's same exact rental bike as last time, which would take less of a learning curve for her to get back on and on the trails. Before starting, we headed to the trailhead map to see where we would be exploring. Although I use mountain bike project and trail forks, I still love stopping at a good trail map. Sometimes local riders will tell you the best loops and trails and which trails to avoid. Riding in the fall is amazing. You hear the leaves crunching beneath you, and of course, see all the beautiful colors. It does get a little hard to find the trail though, especially if it's single track that you haven't ridden before. If you saw the last Marquette video I made, I learned that Jordan was an impressive bailer. She could get out of falling by moving to the side and ditching the bike. That wasn't beginner's luck, she's still good at it. I will note that the South Trail system does offer more technical riding than the North Trails. While I welcome this, Jordan was a little bit more challenged by it. <laughs> you got it. Oh, this is so scary compared to last time. He went from like a two to an eight. No, you're good. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now nah, she stands high from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where she's mine. Yeah, she's mine. Apart from not being able to find the trail, the fall leaves provided another hazard. You can roll over them just fine on flat, but when there's a slight angle to the terrain, it basically becomes a slip and slide. <laughs> After a while on the trail, we headed back for lunch. We got a bit lost, but what's a good mountain bike ride without getting lost? We ended up cycling through the Rippling River Resort, which looked like an awesome place to stay. Damn, that would be nice. Um. After a while, I had to check the iPhone and found out we were way past the parking lot where the car was. Jesus, we passed it. After lunch, I jumped on the bike and had a little fun on the kid pump track. I know it says this is a kid's pump track, but it's fun. I saw plenty of adults riding it too. Once we were warmed up, we headed back out. Here is when I was determined to find the infamous A-Line. I've only ever ridden a flow trail once and was wanting to ride this trail since our first trip. We ended up finding the trail. To find it, you had to cross the street and go up the main gravel road. I believe this gravel road is called Down Dogger, which is actually a mountain bike trail. Once we found A-Line, we rode it a couple times from the halfway point and then finally made our way to the top. 
Being new to the flow track and jump track game, there was plenty of learning for me to do. I definitely cased more than a few jumps and had to quickly pump the brakes on some occasions when I landed in a less than ideal landing zone. I know this video wasn't much of a story, but it was definitely a fun trip, so I thought I'd share the GoPro footage I had. I'm stoked I finally got to ride the South Trails, and I'm already looking forward to riding there next year. If you haven't been to Marquette, Michigan, and love to mountain bike, I would definitely recommend it. There is riding for all, and I haven't even scratched the surface. Thanks for tuning in this week, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel and made it this far into this video, consider subscribing. Or at the very least, check out some more videos with a bit more storytelling. I will catch you in the next one. Till then, go ride your bike, and remember to stay stoked on spokes. I did it once, and then I raced up to do it again. And so my body was like, what the hell is going on?